I might start placing objects on a curve, and I think Bezier curves are one of the most commonly used curves in game dev. So here I have the quadratic curve at the top, and cubic Bezier curve at the bottom. And as you can see, depending on the percentage, we get a position between the start point and the end point, and the curve is determined by the middle piece. And the same thing with the other curve. I can also manually change the percentage here, and you get a curve in between. The concept is a lot simpler than it looks. If I look at the one on the top, let's say we have 30% here. Everything is based on linear interpolation, meaning straight lines. So let's say we have 0 0.0 and 0.1, a straight line in between, and this would be 30%. From 0.1 to 0.2, again on a straight line, this would be 30%. If we draw another straight line between these two points, and again, get a 30%, we would get this position. So the position is bound by the lines and the percentages. And as time goes, you go from 0 to 100%, and so does the object. And the same thing with the other curve. Let's say we have 30%. 30% 30 here, 30% here, 30% here, here. Draw lines in between. 30% here, 30% here, and the final 30%. So nothing too complex here. You don't have to be a math genius to figure this out. If I look at the equation for the quadratic one, people have already come up with the optimized version. This is the exact same result as drawing line by line and getting the interpolation, but you don't want to take extra steps in an actual game. I also have a link here. Instead of going through every interpolation with a little bit of algebra, you can get a simplified version of it. And this is not the end. You can expand on this. Let me show you another scene, Bezier chain scene where we link up quadratic Bezier curves, several of them, and you get a whole chain. And this is the same concept of straight lines and percentages. As you can see, I'm changing the percentage here, just like before. The only difference is that you're dividing up into subsets, and the code might be a little more complicated for the chain, but don't get caught up in this. The basic idea is pretty simple. Let's say you have 0 to 100%. So imagine this is a timeline, and you've divided up into equal parts, as many as you like. Each of these subsets will have their own 0% and 100%, and let's say that you happen to be right here. If you only consider this locally, this will be something like 5%. Or if you happen to be somewhere here, from this point to this point, would be close to 90%. The scale is a little off, but don't mind that. Now imagine quadratic curves for each of the subsets. So you have one here, and this would make a curve that looks like this. You have another one that goes like this, and it just goes on and on and on until you reach the end. So the concept isn't hard at all. You just got to be able to translate that into code. And of course, you can change the points at runtime and change whatever position that you get on the curve. The points could be anywhere. The equation will be applied the same way. And you can get some interesting results. A lot of the issues in game dev have already been solved mathematically. You just got to be able to understand the concept and translate that into code. The math part, you don't have to do it yourself. In most cases, you're merely downloading and using other people's equations. But you do have to spend a lot of time Googling and trying to figure out how you can implement things into your own game. Anyways, I think I'm going to use this in my current project soon. For more details, you can always reach me on my Discord server. I have all the links below. Or you can download this project and try it yourself. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.